I'm The Voice, and this is a Divi community-produced video from the foundation. This is, I think, where we can talk about the DAO, right? The, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. I think that DAO should be Rob, since DAO is Rob's right. baby. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I, I still want it to not be. But yeah, I'm still Just don't sound negative. at the... <laughs> I'm not negative about it. I love that we have it. I wish I started it way earlier. I wish someone started it way earlier. Mm -hmm. And I wish we were way further along with it. But, you know, we got to do these things one at a time and, you know, work with what we have. And so, yes, about a year ago, a little bit less, I think, we made it possible for people to vote on various aspects of what we're doing with Divi. Mm -hmm. um, most of that voting was designing a DAO. So all it was, was basically, if you have a single Ethereum-based Divi, because I can only implement this stuff on Ethereum for now with the tools that are out currently, there. Currently, yeah. For, yeah, currently. If you a single one of those, then you are qualified to vote. And then we basically had a bunch of votes on what the DAO governance model should look like. I think we had 12 or 13 votes on that. Um, there's a blog post on what the end result of all of those votes were, what the governance model looks like. So if you're interested in this, that's what we're shooting for. And right now, um, we're still trying to get it so that we can have a website that implements that model. Um, mm -hmm. Once we have it, we won't need the Ethereum coined uh, tokens. It will be Divi native, and it will be a place where nothing is funneled through me, uh, where people who are qualified and val validated can just propose on their own, vote on their own, and, you know, build a, a support on their own, like all of that stuff can happen like a real DAO. And it, that part of it will be super nice. Uh, right now I am the gatekeeper and I don't want to be, I mean, I push through whatever I can, uh, make sure people have thought through their whole, their whole proposals so that you they guide can get them. up there. I'm sorry. I guide them as much as I can. And I do ask that they write the whole proposal. So if you want to do a proposal, you know, you go to the Discord, the DAO section, you can download the template, make sure you fill that thing out fully. That means to me that you've thought about it, the whole thing. And then I'll get it up there. So I am the, yeah, the conduit by which it happens. And I'm hoping not to be. It's not a lot of work. It's just not right. You know, and I don't yeah. know about it. That's <laughs> here, here is the thing, right? Why I agree that it would be great to have a more a decentralized, <laughs> yeah. you know, a decentralized DAO, which yeah. is the D of DAO. But the thing is that I think you're doing a good job. It is difficult to migrate from the kind of structure that we had to a working DAO. I understand that there are also timings, right? Sometimes when you try to integrate those things to the community, it's a better timing than others. Sure. Here, yeah. we, we're conscious of the situation and it is fine for us to make sure that this transition happens properly. So we'll be here until the DAO is able to, to take off, right? Until then, we will be assuming that role. Uh, we'll be making sure that those things move forward. We'll also be proposing some, some new initiatives. So I can actually list some. I don't know if we want to talk about that now. Um, well, I, I just wanted to add that I know we speak about it as a new thing. It's not a new thing. It's in the white paper. It goes back now. What is that? Four, five, six, six seven years? years ago. Oh my God. The, the master nodes were supposed to be uh, instrumental in voting and the DAO. The only reason we are here where we are is because two and a half years ago, uh, without going too much in depth into it, because we have the articles that everyone should read, the realization from random string was that the masternodes weren't stable and that they needed to be upgraded to something more powerful right and so that's why we have vaults today and the vaults will take the place of voting on the dow like the masternodes um were supposed to so the dow isn't a new thing the dow isn't something that you just created this is this is a an honoring of the original philosophy and plan for everything that I would say that I got involved with. I mean, this is where it's going. So yeah, I think that's- And the governance uh, model actually reflects that. The governance correct. model kind of uses the ideas of how the, to work. We're just doing it with the vault validators now instead. The other thing you said was like, uh, DAOs aren't new. They're not. They've been around for a long time. The very first Ethereum one called you know, the DAO. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, 
But it's amazing how communities can really affect stuff. Like for our community, I was blown away at the market making effort. That was rock solid. Mm -hmm. That brought us a livelihood on our KuCoin exchange, keeping us there, not not putting us in danger of anything. It was, that was a super great effort. Dog with hat has now raised $700,000 to put the stupid dog with hat. Sorry, that's my opinion. (laughs) Uh, Dog with hat on the Vegas dome. So this is all community efforts and it's all over the place in every project. And we've done it here before. We did it even when we were helping those kids with the bikes. I don't know. I don't know if the community remembers all of that, but that was awesome community. We raised tons of money that way. Yeah, so we did, Ryan. This is just going to create a nicer way to do it. It's not just like Joe Dude's website to raise the funds. It'll be a little bit, you know, it'll be more decentralized. It'll be more integrated with our community. That's what really what we're trying to do with the DAO. And so far towards that, now I've made another website. Well, I've made a website because I haven't made the DAO website yet. It's designed to keep track of the funding efforts. So it's just called Divi DAO Efforts. There's a link in the Discord for it. We can post other ones all over the place. But that website, basically every single time we have a funding effort, I'm just going to put it there. So there's two there now. Richard's box wallet front end, you know, make it pretty thing. Uh, That was fully funded. That's up there. It's just, you know, to see that something works. That's awesome. The DAO for the DAO website, that's up there. Uh, to implement our governance model, to get a website everybody can just go to, propose, vote, all that kind of stuff. And then we've got some stuff coming down the line. We're going to vote on these in the DAO. If there's alternatives, we're going to pick one. Uh, If there's alternative pathways to something, we're going to pick one and vote on that in the DAO. And then the funding effort will go on to this other website. So for example, we're talking about new exchanges. We're talking about uh, market making. Uh, Neeks, you want to talk about, you're a little bit more into that yeah, than I am. You want to talk right. about those? Yeah. So one thing that's important to understand about this DAO website that's currently here, it's really a placeholder. Yes. We've yeah. been asked if uh, we could accept more currencies. So we will look into that. Um, it is a bit complicated to create all the wallets and all that within the right structure. But I think, Rob, you're working on that. However, yep. the thing that I wanted to bring is we didn't propose any other opportunities beside that DAO website because we really thought it could be a good thing to have that website built. However, we don't want this to block the progress. And I wanted to highlight the thing that you just said about Doug we've had and their successful raise of $650,000 for some advertising. I think this really relates to the (laughs) momentum that I was talking about, right? Those users had a major raise and so they were able to rally and then go for for more things. I mean, we understand that currently it's not the best timing where people want to engage a lot and and we understand that and that's why we keep moving forward. And you were reminding us the bike, the bike situation. I think there were also paintings. Um, It was extremely, oh yeah, some really great initiatives that were were achieved. And also we can all remember Ramos who was helping people in in Venezuela, right? So it was really interesting and you you could see that the community at that time was a lot more willing to participate Participate. And there is no doubt it was all related to, you know, market price. And that's the situation. As long as sure. the price will not recover, it is like that. So we will keep moving forward. And now we want to propose some more alternatives in those proposals. We'll come with market making for Bitru. So that would be about the same cost, $24,000. Um, and then it will be in parallel with uh, other proposals. So we'll not just target one and then they will move forward at the pace they need. If we actually get to those targets, we will start to apply the strategy to make sure those proposals move forward. Anyone can propose anything. Don't hesitate if you have a contact with an exchange, a contact with a marketing company. So let me give you a little bit of context on that. We'll soon propose you a vote on multiple different plans that we prepared with some marketing companies. You will be able to vote. You will not be able to know the marketing company. They will remain anonymous with their codes. Uh, You will only know when they will be selected. And then you will be able to vote for different services and different price. And then we can have a collection for those things too. There is a listing for MEXC. That's a bit expensive, but again, those collections can last over a month. 